This video is brought to you by Squarespace. I know the Switch OLED model and the Steam Deck are both coming out this year. New handheld tech that I can't wait to get my hands on. I've pre-ordered both and I will be taking a look at both on the channel, but I can't wait for that. I need new hardware now. Top of the line technology to play my video games on today. So I went to AliExpress. You have no idea what this video took to get to this point. AliExpress, have you heard of it? It's a website that has a bunch of fake stuff, essentially. Everything gets shipped from China. There's a 50-50 chance you might get what you ordered or something completely different. I have ordered 11, I think more, but we have 11 here <laughs> that have arrived. Fake Nintendo consoles. There are some Switches, some Game Boy Advances. Honestly, I don't even remember what I bought, but I tried to buy a fake Nintendo console of every generation and I'm excited to see what I was sent and let's be honest I'm excited to see how bad everything is. I will say that it's 95 degrees out here in Texas and this room gets really warm while I film with all these lights on so if it's okay with all of you I might start with the Game Boy fan because I feel like I need a cool breeze. And apparently some Bomberman. They've used art from the Bomberman Nintendo Switch game. Oh! Kind of nice packaging. Kind of like the way it just slid out of there. Don't know why I wouldn't have got it in gray. I don't think they had a gray option, but that would have been way cooler for the video because it looks like a Game Boy. <laughs> See where the on button. Oh no. Oh, we have fan. It looks like it might have three levels. So this is level one. It's barely doing much. There's a level two. It's much louder. You could probably hear that. Let's see level three. <laughs> Honestly, pretty good. It's more powerful than I expected, and I'm definitely feeling much cooler in this room. I actually don't see a button to turn the console on. I only see a button for the fan. Maybe I'll try holding... Oh, that worked. I held the start button down, and it turned on. I'm now realizing it actually does say on underneath that button, so that's my bad. Audio quality, immediately not great. The first game on this list, there's 500 by the way, is Chinese Kung Fu. The next one's Angry Bird and then Pocket Monster. Pocket Monster is Pokemon, right? Oh, that's a interesting Pikachu. The screen is actually kind of nice. Good quality. I've never seen this game before. I don't know what I'm playing. It's a side scroller Pikachu game. I don't think this is an actual official Pokemon game. I can't imagine that it is. But I gotta be honest, it's a little cute. I think we have a winner right off the bat. Good quality screen, the controls work fine, and it comes with a fan. It's the middle of summer here in Texas. This is a winner. I like this one. Okay, next. Oh, sick! This one I've been really excited for. <laughs> I actually really wanted this one because it's not really a copy of anything. I just thought it looked really cool. I already kind of love this little guy. Tell me that this doesn't look sick. Actually, it looks quality. I'm not gonna lie. The build on this looks nice. The screen's not on yet, but it looks like a nice screen too. Making fun of AliExpress, hooping on the entire website, and the first two things I've got I actually kind of like. It also comes with two controllers to plug and play. Wireless? No, there's no way. Oh, it turned on. Why is there like a death clock countdown? <laughs> oh no, it's counting up. Oh, okay, it's the time. I thought that was like, do I have to start defusing the bomb? Cutting wires carefully? It immediately turned on, which is weird because I, I have it set to off. So I'm gonna turn it on. Okay. Look, you have to realize that I'm 30 years old. So for me, this has an extra level of cool. This little dial here, it clicks off when it's all the way to the left. And as you turn it to the right, it clicks on. But then you can keep turning it to turn up the sound, which is exactly how old TVs work. I love that little detail. Wowee, so many cheap knockoff consoles. The thing about them though, is when you start buying like 11 of them, it adds up pretty quickly. So uh, help me out here by supporting today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace, it oh, sorry. Squarespace is the all-in-one place to build a beautiful website super easy. Even I built a website using Squarespace. And it was as easy as just double clicking and then adding whatever videos, text, or pictures I wanted. It's so easy. 
All you gotta do is pick one of their many unique designs and then start adding in your own content using Squarespace's easy to use tools. Or just start your own design from scratch. You can sell your own merch or things you've created through your website, track your sales using the inbuilt tools. I use mine as a landing page where you can find all my social medias or you can even watch my videos. They're embedded directly into the site. All you gotta do is head to squarespace.com for a free try. Then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash beat-em-ups to get 10% of your first purchase of a domain or website. Okay, we have a lot more things to open, so let's get back to the video. Thank you, Squarespace, for sponsoring. Bye. Let's see if this controller just works. Immediately, I'm seeing Contra, Contra 2. I'm wondering if this dial does adjust sound. It does. That is such a nice touch. I love that. Contra, Contra 2, Contra Force, Super Contra 7. They skipped a few there. Super Mario Brothers, Mario 6. They skipped a few there as well. Mario 9, Mario 10, Mario 14, and Mario 16. I guess if you're trying to follow along with the story, you're going to have to Google episodes 2, 3, 4, 5, 11, 12, and 15. Let's just do straight Super Mario. Oh, that's pretty freaking cool. All right. Jumping into Mario. They say you can't win them all. We have lost again with the speakers. This speaker is far worse than the speaker on the Game Boy fan. It is awful. This is Mario playing perfectly fine on a little TV with a wireless controller. And I'm pretty sure I only paid like $25 for this. That's really impressive. I might actually keep this out. I like it that much. All right, we've taken a look at some old stuff. Let's take a look at a Nintendo Switch clone. Mm, okay. I was gonna say I kind of like these thumbsticks just based on how they looked. I thought they kind of looked kind of nice with the uh, chrome ring around them and how they were flat. But they're really, uh, I was gonna say stiff, but they're stiff and loose. Both of them spin, which I hate. And everything else is flat. Fine. I'm seeing Super Mario that has a Mario Galaxy icon. Let's take a look at Super Mario and see if it is Galaxy. We have not a nice screen. Out of all the screens we've seen today, this is the worst one. It's blurry. The game is stretched out. The colors are really dull. Oh boy, I actually really like Fire Red. Let's try booting up Fire Red. That was one of my all-time favorites back in the day. The one mil sub circuit board is not installed. What does that mean? Yeah, the audio is really loud and really bad quality. The screen is awful and stretching out the image. And there's still this black bar along the top. I got, I got to get out. I got to get out of that. <coughs> Making me feel sick, honestly. Oh, that is some delicious G Fuel that you can get 30% off of by going to gfuel.com and using code beat-em-ups. Okay, I love doing these videos. They're so fun. And I love you guys for watching them. Thank you. I appreciate all of you. If you're watching this right now, say hi below. I don't remember buying a Supreme version of this thing. I thought I just bought red. I want my money back. I didn't pay for that at all. Gamebox Power M3, hopefully not a Supreme edition because I just ordered red. Yeah, okay. We have our first console not matching up to the picture. On this picture, this entire top half is a screen with very little embezzling, which I'm now realizing because I can see that this has a massive in bezel and the screen is actually quite small in comparison to the rest of the handheld that they've just photoshopped this picture on and they didn't even line it up right you oh hello mr battery that wasn't in the console it was floating loosely at the bottom of the box. <laughs> Obviously, this one is the least Nintendo clony of all of them. I just thought it looked really weird and I wanted to grab it. Nice little blue graphic there I'm treated to. And then just a list of games loading in. Down the bottom, it says NES, GBA, Mega Drive, Super Nintendo, MAME. In GBA, we have a ton of games. Doesn't tell me how many, but judging by the scroll bar, a lot. Pasture Boys is immediately sticking out to me is something I might want to try. And then Pasture Girls right underneath it. Is this Harvest Moon? Is Harvest Moon called Pasture Boys and Pasture Girls in Japan? Or is this like a weird knockoff version? And that's like the name they gave it, Pasture Boys. I don't know, but I love it.
I don't know why none of these bother to fork out for even a halfway decent speaker. It's always a speaker that sounds like it's on the way out, like they pulled it from some other thing that was already dying. Okay, The Legend of Zelda GBA. What, G what one was that? Minish Cap? Yeah, it's Capcom. It has to be Minish Cap. Oh, wait. A link to the past four swords. Okay. So when I try and make a name, it says now saving, don't touch. The file couldn't be created. And then it loops back to the main menu. So I guess this guy can't save games. So that kind of sucks. The screen sucks. The sound sucks. Uh, this little toggle is a little better than the other one that we just did. But it also feels like it could break really easily. I barely put any pressure on that whatsoever. It honestly just broke. All right, well, that's that one, I guess. Awful, awful. I don't remember what it was called, but they've slapped a sticker over it that says retro now. What was it called before? It was called the NES Pocket Duo when I ordered it, but maybe like there was some licensing or like Nintendo was like not okay with that. They couldn't sell it as the NES. So they had to slap a sticker on the box that said retro Pocket Duo. So legality's sake, uh, this is not the NES Pocket Duo. It is the Retro Pocket Duo. That said, it's very clearly modeled after the NES. I mean, the controllers speak for themselves other than having four buttons. But even the box is made to look like a little NES console. Immediately out of the box, other than the kind of cheap packaging, it actually kind of looks like something. Like it kind of looks legit, honestly. The colors are there. The feel is there. The even like the finish on top of these controllers, it has that rough texture that the NES controllers had. The four buttons are throwing me off, but it looks good. I find it really interesting and trippy that this is the console and this is the controller for this console. Hmm. So, I hate them, but we have a little, one of them little spinny dials up top here, a little mini one that controls the sound, but... I was gonna say it actually has really nice sound quality compared to the other consoles, but it sounds like the home menu music just froze and is stuck on whatever this is. We'll go Kirby's Adventure. I do like that game. It's the best speaker so far. And at a lower volume, it's not bad. It's still got a crackle to it though. However, the screen, very nice. Loving the screen. Okay, sadly, I, I have to take back what I said about the screen. When you're looking dead on, it's clean, crisp, colors are perfect. But if you even slightly start turning it, it kind of turns into one of those, you know those like things, those pictures where like if you stare at it long enough, like, some kind of image will pop out of it. That's kind of what it looks like. Like my eyes are trying to focus and the colors are bleeding. Pink Kirby, white Kirby, red Kirby. It does work. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The controls are really nice, responsive. When you're staring straight on at the game and you're not doing any of this kind of funny business, looks fine. There's no on button on this wireless controller. Another wireless controller, by the way. Okay, so batteries in and it immediately works. It immediately works, and again, very responsive. It's honestly fine. It's mid-range, I think. If I'm really excited about these and really crapping on these, I think this is actually middle of the road. Looks like a NES controller with a screen on it. And you know, I've really never seen that before. These actually feel exactly like NES controllers, by the way. The same weight, the, the buttons and everything feel the same, other than the fact that these are plastic and not rubber, but everything else feels exactly the way it should. This is good. This is good. All right, let's look at Chicken Boy because I'm really excited for Chicken Boy. First up, I want to say I bought Chicken Boy because I honestly think it just looks sick. Like low-key just kind of wanted it and ordered it for myself while I was on the website. Oh yeah, it's the, it's a good size too. I was actually worried that it might be a little uh, too big. It's thin. It's really light. These yellow nubbins in the corners are actually buttons and they have a really nice click to them. His hair is rubber and it's like really in there too. So that's a nice little feature. I like this thing. There's 99 games on here. Oh. It's really hard to read the games. The screen, at least right now, does not seem to be good quality. There's a bunch of pixels missing. Mario Bros. 3. We're gonna load Mario Bros. 3, which is actually is Mario Brothers 3, which is nice, because sometimes it's not. It has these really nice buttons that 
feel really good, really quality. The D-pad and the buttons, they're really small, obviously, and really like little and like not raised up really high, but they have a really satisfying click to them. They feel great, honestly. So playing Mario right now feels really good. The quality of everything is so much better and cooler than I thought it would be, other than the screen, which is nice and bright, it pops, but there's so many dead pixels. It's most notable in the menu screen where a lot of the words don't even get finished. Like the letters are missing like parts of them because there's dead pixels in those spots. But as soon as I load up Mario Brothers 3, the whole left side of the screen is glitching out. There's pixels that are flashing. And then I this the biggest offender is that there's a lot of pixels missing. There's either dead or just not there. Is it a deal breaker? No, because it's a cute little guy and you're kind of playing these games on the go. You're not looking to really sit there and play the entire Mario Brothers 3 on it. You know, when you get bored in a train and you whip out your phone and you play some Candy Crush for a bit, it's a similar thing. That said, if this screen didn't have so many missing pixels and glitching pixels, this would be like one of the coolest little things I've bought from the website. Oh. Oh no. So this one came in a very beat up box that was honestly already kind of open. I reached in to grab out the console and I got the AC adapter. This is gonna be a really interesting fake. Oh wow. Is this actually real? No. Oh. Huh. I'm so confused. This is the best fake we've seen so far because it actually had me fooled there for a bit. So it's the Mario themed DSi, DS Lite. You know, I didn't look at the pictures too much online. I assumed that it would just come with ROMs on it, but we actually have a slot for DS games at the top and Game Boy games at the bottom. How much did I pay for this? The only thing that I'm thinking like doesn't feel right is it's a little loosey goosey. It's shaking a little bit, but also this red isn't exactly the red, right? This is like a deep blood red. I never had it, but I'm pretty sure the actual Mario Game Boy was like a nice Mario red. Oh no, here we go. That's a DS. Okay, how much did I pay for this? Oh, oh. So I did pay $50 for this, which is a lot more than I remember paying for this. But I was looking at DS prices online and while on the cheap end, you could get a DS Lite for around $50, unless I was looking in the wrong places. The actual Mario Red MDS is like $130 is what I was seeing roughly. So we could try Chrono Trigger really quickly. And if Chrono Trigger works, I mean, I just bought a Mario Red DS for 50 bucks, <laughs> which I mean, like, isn't, I don't know. I don't know. It all, it all depends on if this is a real Mario DS or not, which I can only imagine it's not because why would it be on AliExpress? But yeah, it's playing Chrono Trigger. So I guess there either isn't region locking and I remembered that wrong or it does doesn't matter with this one. Nintendo DS and DS are not region locked. Okay. They're not region locked. I just bought an actual Nintendo DS from AliExpress for $50. Whether or not it's actually the Mario one or not, I'm not sure. But is anyone gonna notice the difference? Cause I don't. All right. I mean, I'll charge that up and I'll play Chrono Trigger later. Completely fine by me. Oh, wait, is this what I was excited for? Is this the Wii U one? I'm missing something, I'm now- Yeah, it's the Wii U one. Nice. This is a Wii U knockoff console. I kind of like the way it looks. Out of all the consoles we've had so far with weird little toggles on them, these are the best ones. They're a little stiff and they're not great, but they're not bad and uh, I don't hate them. These also feel pretty good. These see-through buttons, the triangle isn't exactly uh, aligned and it's kind of wonky, which is bothering my OCD, but it's there. Very bright screen. I feel like the brightness is cranked up to full to find a way to turn that down. Nice little sound effect here for uh, switching between games. They've misspelled Ninja as Ninjia. So let's try playing Ninjia Turtle 2. Best speaker so far by far. N like hands down, no question. 
It has a little ting tingy to it, like you can tell it's still a cheap one, but it's not cracking and breaking and staticky. It's it's holding together. It actually sounds pretty good. The screen is a bit bright, almost like its contrast is turned up too far, but it's a really nice screen. No complaints there, clean and crisp. Buttons are responsive. Everything about that is great. Lots of spelling mistakes on this one. There's Angry Birds again, but it's called Angry Biro. For the most part, it's all the same games you would expect. NES games like Bad Dudes, Robocop, Banana Prince, you know, the classics. Pocket Monster makes a return. The same Pikachu on it too. Yeah, okay. Rechargeable battery in the back. Or three triple A's if you prefer. This probably feels like the most quality of all the consoles because I really can't find a flaw in it. I think this is the best one technically, but the TV is still my favorite by far. I'm assuming, oh yeah. I think we may have saved the best for last. And by best, I mean one of the worst. Pal Kitty. We've opened a lot of Pal Kitty stuff in these videos before. They keep making fake switches. They keep doing it. This is by far the most <laughs> Switch ripoff console I have ever seen and Pal Kitty have ever done. These fake Joy-Cons don't come off. I feel like that is what separates uh, a clone from a lawsuit when it comes to Nintendo. I've seen Nintendo file lawsuits against consoles that have removable Joy-Cons because Nintendo have actually patented that. That's their thing and no one else can do it now. A lot of other Pal Kitty products and even like this one, which is very clearly influenced by the Switch, at the same time doesn't really look like a Switch, does it? I mean, it does but it also doesn't at all. Like you can't be fooled. This is the kind of product that I think could actually fool someone. You know, not us, but a non-gamer, maybe a grandma, maybe someone who's just not interested in games. Maybe DJ Khaled, who thought the Xbox Series S was a speaker. I'm gonna put this in my sneaker room. What is it, a speaker? You know, that kind of person. <gasps> Huge screen, bigger than the Switch. Oh wait, hold on, is that? No way. There's a hair in the screen. It's right here on the on the left hand side of this icon here. There is so much debris and dirt underneath this screen. It's actually amazing. Let's load up Silent Hill. Not supported. All right, Parasite Eve not supported. It has PlayStation games on this SD card, but it can't play them. So let's go back in a good old GBA. We have 52 GBA games. Uh, let's load up Pokemon Fire Red again. Not supported! For some reason, there's two Fire Reds and it doesn't support either of them. Okay, I'm probably an idiot and I don't know what CPS is. Whatever it is, it's only playing games in the CPS category. The same old knockoff NES games and bad dudes, all the same games we've been playing today. That light just turned off, but it's okay because I think we're done. It made it look like it was gonna play Game Boy. It can't even play Game Boy Advance. This giant thing is actually worse than most of the other things we've played today. Even worse than this. Pal Kitty, I swear to God, they make the best looking clones as far as it goes, but the actual worst consoles out of anyone. It's useless, it's trash, it does nothing, it can't do anything. I honestly don't think we did too bad today. I really like this little TV thing. I also really like the chicken thing, dead pixels and all. This little mini Wii U isn't bad looking. This little thing isn't bad either. I've got a fan that I can use for later videos and also play if I get bored while fanning myself. And somehow I managed to buy a $50 Mario Red DS that works. So... All up, I think we came out on top. Even when you take into consideration the ones that really sucked. I really love doing these videos. It's so much fun buying this stuff from AliExpress and then seeing what gets here when it's here. And I wouldn't be able to make these videos if it wasn't for two people. One, Squarespace today. Thank you for sponsoring the video and making my wallet a little happier after all of this. And two, 
you guys for watching them and enjoying them. Series like this do really well on my channel and I'm really glad they do because it's just me buying random crap and you guys watching it. So it feels like I'm actually creating something fun on my own. And I like that a lot and I have you guys to thank for that. So thank you for watching, like, subscribe, all that crap. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. You guys are the best. I'm gonna go eat because I'm really hungry. I still can't believe we got an actual DS. Like, how did that happen? I don't know.